Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video is actually going to be the aftermath of Devin Haney versus Zawar Abdalawev, and man, that was a friggin' brilliant display of boxing from a dude like Devin Haney going into this damn fight. You had a dude like Devin Haney who is definitely the slicker, more technical boxer going into this damn fight. He's got very good head movement, very slick defense, very good footwork going up against a dude like Zahur Abdalouev who is pretty much a basic type of boxer. Is very durable, has substantial power, but at the same time, it's the type of style where you know that if you've watched Devin Haney, he's been up against this type of style before and going into this damn fight the one thing that Devin Haney was able to do very well was being able to control a dude like Zawar Abdalouev with that damn jab dude from the first round Devin Haney was sticking that jab out being able to control Abdalouev with that damn jab being able to dictate the range being able to dictate the distance and being able to set up all of his combinations off of that damn jab. And the one thing that he was doing also was using a very, very good job of using a different punch variety, being able to get off some vicious, vicious body shots on a dude like Zawar Abdalouev. And he did a very good job being able to use that jab to be able to get Abdalouev where he wanted so he was able to get off his onslaught of shots. And one of the main weapons going into this damn fight that he had going up against the dude like Abdalouev was his damn speed. You could see the friggin' huge difference in the speed between the two with Devin Haney being able to beat Zawar to the punches every time they would get into exchanges, being able to hurt Zawar Abdalouev. And in that last round in the fourth fight, when the fight ended up getting stopped... You you could clearly see that Zawar Abdalouev's face was getting all friggin' tatted up, blood coming all out of his nose. You can tell it was just a matter of time before a dude like Devin Haney ended up stopping a dude like Zawar Abdalouev. And with this damn win, Devin Haney is now the interim WBC lightweight champion, and he is now the mandatory to a dude like Lomachenko. So you really got to give Devin Haney his props on this damn fight, being able to take out Abdalouev in the fashion that he was able to do. And you can clearly tell from this damn fight that he is ready to go up against the big dogs that are in that damn 135-pound division. Now, with that being stated, going into the future of a dude like Devin Haney, hopefully he is able to get a damn fight with Lomachenko just for the simple fact is you got a dude like Lomachenko who is looking to unify this 135-pound division. And once he unifies this damn division, he is already talking about moving back down to the 130 or the 1. 26 pound division to look for those fights so with that being stated hopefully he can stay in this 135 pound division a little bit longer even if he is able to unify all the belts because you got some dudes like a Devin Haney and a Javante Davis who has moved up to the 135 pound division looking to get that damn smoke from Lomachenko and hopefully we can see this damn smoke go down before he ends up moving back down to the 130 or 126 pound division. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy. I swear, I swear. I swear.